Hi everyone. Lego's Rebrick.com website recently held a contest called Mini Building Madness. This contest was to commemorate 10 years of the Lego modular building sets. The goal of the contest was to design a mini modular building which would fit in with Lego's mini modulars set released in 2012. Today I'd like to share with you the designs that I came up with. I really enjoyed designing these models. These mini modulars are a nice size so that you can have a quick idea and then design the model without it taking too much time. In the video description I have links so that you can jump to each of the designs in this video. Alien Defense Unit Headquarters Styled to fit in with the aesthetic of the LEGO Alien Conquest sets. The building is a 7 wide construction featuring a garage and a lobby on the ground floor and two levels of furnished offices above. The roof has a communications array and a helipad so that defences can be assembled quickly to fight off the invading aliens. Alley. Nestled between a butcher and a bakery and coffee shop is a cobblestone alleyway. At the end of the alleyway are a wooden fence, green dumpster and a discarded trash bag. Brownstone Terrace Houses Side-by-side -side terrace houses featuring a basement and two levels of living space. While identical in design, each house is painted differently to reflect the owner's style. The ornate roof detailing mirrors the contour of the large bay windows, and each terrace house has a small front yard and a slightly larger backyard. Cottage with Garden A quaint little cottage with a garden and a white picket fence. This model was designed to look like Ma and Pa Cop's house from the Lego movie, and that was based on the design of Lego set 376 or 560. All that is missing is Ma and Pa. Courthouse. A classic styled courthouse with a staircase and large pillars out the front. Each wing of the building features two levels of offices, and the main entrance has a high ceiling with a domed roof. Cube Apartments. This building features a central utility core that has an elevator going all the way up to the pool deck on the roof. Each apartment has futuristic rounded windows and can be detached and moved to another location if required. The ground level features the main lobby and has a small communal garden on its roof. Ferris Wheel. Bringing some joy to the inner city is this compact Ferris Wheel. It features six gondolas, a ticket booth out the front and lights on the wheel to lighten up your day. Memorial. Paying tribute to our past is this larger than life statue. The roof features a skylight to let in some natural light and there are large pillars out the front to allow the public to see inside. Modern office building. This building features a large white ribbon that works its way up to the roof. Visitors are welcomed by green plants out the front of the building. Large windows on every floor ensure that plenty of natural light gets in, and the top floor also features a skylight. Modern Split Level Townhouse This townhouse features a modern design with an entryway on the left and multiple split levels on the right, starting with a basement, followed by two split levels of living space with large floor to ceiling windows at the front. The rooms on the top level at the back also feature skylights to let in more natural light, there's also a small garden out the front. Octan Tower. The headquarters of the Octan Company, this tower is in the shape of an octagon. The ground floor features a working revolving door leading to a large lobby and a garage door on the side. The roof has a communication tower and a window cleaning basket is used to make sure the tower stays clean. Old West Saloon. Styled to look like a saloon from the Old West, this bar features a porch with seating, swinging batwing doors, and a water trough out the front for your horse. The upper level has several hotel rooms. The detail on the roof line is made from a Lego horse saddle piece. Police Headquarters This police headquarters has everything it needs to keep the criminals at bay. On the ground floor are the reception area and the car garage that has both front and rear access. Above the garage is the holding cell to keep criminals while they are being processed. The roof has a communication tower and a large helipad for the police helicopter to land on. Welcome to the Red Dragon Pub. 
The ground floor is the lounge and bar area. The upper floor features several luxurious hotel rooms. The roof has a rooftop garden and dining area for warm summer nights. Relativity. Inspired by the works of MC Escher, this is a public meeting space. There are stairs and passageways going in every direction and orientation. I've also uploaded each of these images to Flickr so that you can see them in more detail, and I have a link in the video description. I've created a poll in this video so that you can vote for your favourite design. I had to create three separate polls to show all 15 options, but please only vote once. Once enough votes have been submitted, I'll close the poll and I'll tally up the results. In a future video, I'll provide more information about the design that gets the most votes. In the comments of this video, let me know which extra information you'd like to see. Do you want me to explain the philosophy behind my design? Do you want to see the building instructions? Do you want to see which software I use to create these computer generated designs and renders? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. And as always, thank you for watching.